Hi, this is Mohammed Sadiq here. In this session, we'll learn how do we, what exactly is Power BI. So the topic content for this is we'll try to understand what is Power BI, how Power BI works, the various components what is there in Power BI, and the features of Power BI. So now, what is Power BI? So Power BI is a powerful data analytics tool that helps the companies of all sizes to analyze the data and share the insights of that particular data. With this particular technology, enterprises can monitor the business very closely and get the instant answers with the help of rich dashboards, what is available for the different devices. So either it can be a tablet or desktop, or it can be a mobile. Now we'll see what is the main purpose of doing this particular Power BI. The main purpose of going to the Power BI is to get the quick data analysis, okay, more detailed reports, and at the same time, more enjoyable for data analysts in the decision making through the interactive data visualizations. So now we have understood what is Power BI. So we'll see like how exactly a Power BI works. Now, as I said, is a data analytics uh, tool or BI tool. Now, BI tool generally what it does is it uses this concept called as ETL. ETL stands for extract, transform, and load. Extract is the data will be present in different data sources. It will try to extract the data from the different data sources. So it can be data sources like it can be Excel, it can be a CSV file. It can be any databases, Oracle, MS SQL, PostgreSQL, anything. Or it can be Google Analytics, or it can be even the SharePoint. It can read the data from any data source. Now, in Power BI, so we have something called the Power BI Desktop, and we have Power BI uh, Services. Power BI Desktop is mainly used for the developers, where I can create this particular reports, a uh, dashboard. And Power BI uh, services is used for publishing this particular reports, so that okay, the end users, the analysts, okay, the individuals, the corporates, they should be they, uh, view, if they want, they can access this particular report through this particular Power BI services. Now, what exactly Power BI desktop does is it reads the data. When well, the data is being read, so if the data is not, if it is a clean data, I can directly take this particular data and create a visualization reports. Now, if the data needs some kind of a cleaning operation, so there are various components with the help of which we do the cleaning operation, data modeling operations, and once the data is ready for creating the reports and visualizations, okay, so in the Power BI desktop itself, we create the uh, um, dashboards and power reports and the charts. Now, once the dashboards are created, the reports are created using the Power BI, we need to publish. For publishing, we'll be using the Power BI services. Now, what are Power BI services? It's you what to say we pop it's a publishing of your Power BI reports. So it is being maintained under your Azure uh, cloud platform. So you don't have to be worried about the maintenance of this. So once it has been published, you can just share the link to your clients, to your um, uh, what to say companies, the corporates. They can just access that particular through that link. They can access that particular reports on any of the devices that you are using. Either it can be a mobile phone or a tablet or a desktop. So the main purpose here is. Okay, how exactly it works? It connects to the data source. Yeah, if it is needed, it has to do the cleaning. It does the cleaning operations, data modeling operations. Okay, that is the data. It creates a measure as a calculated fees. And once it has been done, so we need to go for the data visualization. Now, this particular operations will be done. So with the help of your Power Desktop, Power BI Desktop helps you in extracting the data, cleaning the data, creating the measures, creating the modeling, and creating a visualization. Now you want to show this particular report, we need to publish. For publishing, we use a Power BI services. Okay, so that is how exactly this works. So now, um, yeah. Now Power BI has this particular various components. We'll just look into the various components. What is there in the Power BI? So now the various component that is used in the Power BI is uh, all this particular operation, whatever I explained in the previous slide, is done with the help of four components, what is there in the Power BI. That is nothing but Power Query, Power Pivot, Power View, and the Power BI service. Now, each component, what it does, so when I talk about your Power Query, so Power Query is used for extracting the data, 
okay once you have extracted the data you want to perform any kind of a cleaning on the particular data or creating a visualization reports it will be done in the help of power query component now we have power pivot power pivot is like you know it's a data modeling tool data modeling is yeah you want to read the data from multiple sources yeah you can read the data from multiple sources when you read that we need to create a joins okay you want to create a relationship that will be done in the power pivot now we do also okay once you have done this part of cleaning of the data extracting cleaning the data data modeling now i need to create a reports on that for creating a reports we have this particular tool uh, component called as power view the name of this view v is for the presentation now it has the power bi has a built in data visualization tools which just senses the data and automatically we can create the graphs now how many types of graphs you can create so power bi supports more than 250 plus different types of charts can be created okay so that is bar chart pie chart line chart like that 250 plus okay a big number of different types of charts can be created now once you create this particular chart next is what we need to publish it so that okay, i can give the access for the end users to use this view this particular report for that we have a service called as a component called as power bi service so now with the help of the power bi services we publish this particular reports okay so this is the way the, uh, the job of the four different components what is there in the power bi so the complete power bi is done with the help of this four different components now when you see the recent study says like you know there is a huge demand coming up for the power bi developers people who work on the power bi what is the reason why it is we'll look into that the features of power bi so power bi is the main purpose is like i said it is not power bi doesn't store the data it extracts the data from the different data sources now the data might be present in the different uh, sources it might be on the google, uh, google cloud or sharepoint excel or csv now what kind of data is reads or we helps you to connect from more than 100 plus different types of data sources okay there's a big numbers now with the help of power bi we can create more than 250 plus different types of charts so we can have very what is say a graphically appealing dashboards can be created we can have a custom of visualization so that means the charts can be interactive so on the on the go you know we can just select a particular item the whole chart gets reshaped according to the item the data the category that you have been selected so we have a custom visualization now the next option is like you know easy of use or adaption now generally what happens is people who work on data analytics so they are the people who have worked on excel a lot now people who have worked on excel very easily they can upgrade to power bi the reason is yeah excel and power bi both are from microsoft apart from that the interface or the way you uh, the uh, what is it the uh, toolbars and all those things are almost similar to your excel so people who work on excel they can very easily uh, get upgraded to power bi so they'll not have any much they'll not make much face much difficulties the other thing is ease of sharing the reports as i said so when you publish this particular thing so it will be published on to your microsoft azure platform so they will take care of all the complete maintenance okay um, i think so you don't have to worry about it so you just need to concentrate on creating the reports the other big advantage of why exactly you know power bi become things becoming so popular nowadays is because of the frequent updates so generally any software you talk if they have to come out with some new updates so we need at least two years or one years or in worst case six months or something but power bi is coming out with updates every month okay the beauty of this is whenever any kind of update comes you don't have to uninstall the software and reinstall you are just running okay you just go to the file we have something called as options okay there in the options we can go and check any new features are there so if it is there we just tick and just say update automatically it gets gets updated on the same software okay so this is one of the biggest advantages i can say since they are coming with so much of aggressively microsoft is working and coming with so much of new updates okay that is one more reason why power bi is in high demand now and so when the last thing is like you know when you have to work on this particular thing you need to look into the cost see at the time of development okay so we use a power bi desktop so you don't have to pay anything you can develop at free of cost but you are using at the enterprise level okay where you want to publish the particular reports and you need to do this sharing and all this thing so at the uh, for that we have something called as the power bi premium so if you have to go to the premium so what is the paid version so in this case so what happens the cost of this power bi is much cheaper than any other bi tool 
Okay, so this is the main reason why Power BI is becoming so popular, or this is the main features of Power BI. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Okay. Okay.